My biggest influencer would have to be my mother. She was born in Marion, Arkansas, like in the middle of nowhere, deep south in the 50s. And so uh, a lot of the stories that she told me, it was kind of what you would think of being a black girl in the deep south in the 50s, right? And I remember specifically she told me a story of uh, she was in elementary school and the kids would pick on her and saying, hey, you know, like the night Riders in the bathroom is gonna get you. And so imagine like having that as a child, like imagine like a six-year-old kid telling you something like, yeah, they, somebody told me that. But not only did that not deter her, she took a career in education. And so she went from that being her experience, starting off her education, to then going to be a janitor, to becoming a teacher, to becoming a vice principal, to becoming a principal. Uh, so again, for me, it's like, again, like a perfect embodiment of African-American history, right? Like, I mean, yes, it was unfortunate how things played out, but again, somebody had to just put their nose down and, and, and fight through the adversity. So me, like literally me, could have the opportunity to be here and, you know, be able to go to school and be in the Air National Guard and the military and, and to do the things that I enjoy to do now. Understanding how she grew up and everything that her and my aunts and uncles and grandma had to face, and my grandma actually picked cotton. So I mean, it's like that kind of experience. It gives me perspective because there's nothing I've experienced that's even remotely close to that. So it's like, all right, you know, be grateful. Even, I mean, everyone's gonna deal with diversity, but I mean, it's not that. So I mean, it just gives me perspective. It keeps me grounded uh, and just lets you know what you can overcome and be grateful for what's been overcame for me to be in this position. Uh, I believe people can celebrate Black History Month by, by educating themselves, learning about the culture, uh, the history. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Learning more about uh, other people. For me, and that's why I'm, I became a recruiter because I'm just fascinated by people. Like, why do you do what you do, right? I mean, culture, things of that nature. I'm currently learning Spanish. So like, it's kind of the same thing. Just show an interest, learn about it, right? And understand, you know, we're different, but we're more alike than we are different. So it's just, you know, appreciation and learning, education.